practice web page. Web pages are plain text files. A web browser simply displays the text in the file, but we also want to be able to format text and add colors. HTML, hypertext markup language, adds instructions on how to display text. These instructions are called tags. To separate text from tags, tags go inside less than and greater than signs. Many times there is a tag to begin formatting and another tag to end formatting. Let's think about Microsoft Word. To make this word high, bold would highlight it. Why do we highlight? We highlight to mark where it begins and ends. So when we select B for bold, only the word high becomes bold. To end the formatting, we use a slash within the less than and greater than sign. The ending tag turns off the formatting. Example, B high slash B would make high bold. I have opened Notepad. Notepad is a plain text editor. You can use just about any plain text editor you wish. The first tag indicates the beginning of a web page written in HTML. That's the beginning of the web page. We need to turn the web page off, so let's do that now. I will hit the enter key, less than slash HTML signals the end of the web page. I usually do the beginning and ending tags at the same time so I don't forget. Between the HTML and ending HTML tag, I can add space. The browser doesn't care how you line this up, but humans, it's easier to read across the left-hand margin. In a Microsoft Word document, you may have noticed that there is a header to place page numbers or the title. Let's add the header. The tag to begin the header is simply head. And before we forget, let's add the ending head tag. For the time being, all we are going to add is a title in the head section. And turn it off. Now, most of you cloaks have figured out the actual words I wish to display on the title bar go between the title tag and the ending title tag. My first web page. Now, a plain text document has the wrong extension. So we are going to do the file menu, choose save as, but to name this document, it cannot be .txt. I'll call mine test. Dot htm. The htm indicates that this should be open by a browser for viewing. I'll choose save. Now I'll open the document. You'll notice the file that I just created has a browser icon. So if I double click this, this page opens. On the left is my text editor. On the right is the web page that opened. This area looks blank, but I'd like to call your attention to the title bar. In a Microsoft Word document, after the head, we have the body section. There is no footer in a web page. The blank rectangular area is populated by whatever goes between the body tags. I'm just going to add some extra space. Don't worry about this. Web browsers ignore the extra space. This will just make it easier for us to read. Between the body tag and the ending body tag, I'll add the word hi. I'll save my changes, but I'll notice that I can save with Control S. As I'm using Windows, I can switch from one window to another using Alt-Tab 
to make this the active window. Nothing seems to have changed. I need to refresh. If I point at the refresh button, I notice F5 will refresh. And there's my word high. Back in Notepad, I'm going to add another word high. Notice it is top and bottom. Save my changes with Control S. Switch to the browser with Alt Tab and refresh with F5. Now that's interesting. In Notepad, it was top and bottom. In the web browser, it is side by side. Recall, web browsers ignore white space. I'll have to add a line break. The tag to add a line break is simply BR. There is no ending BR tag since we are not surrounding text to modify. Save my changes, switch to the browser, and refresh. Back to Notepad. Let's say I would like to make the first word high a headline. A headline is typically a different size, bold, and there is space between the headline and the rest of the text. So I should not need the pack, but what I will need to do is surround the word high with one of the headline tags. H2 is a fairly large headline tag. And then don't forget to turn it off. We have a matched pair. We begin and we end the tag to change the first word high. Save my changes. Switch to the browser. Refresh. You may have noticed we are dealing with just black and white. Let's modify that a bit. Recall the body tag controls everything that displays in the web page. I can add a space or a line break without changing the content of the web page. Text equal blue. Refresh. Now I have blue text. Again, a space and an enter key don't change the page at all. BG color equals two quotation marks yellow. This is called an attribute. Attributes are followed by an equal sign. And then the value is surrounded by quotation marks. Here's the value. Save my changes, switch to the browser, and refresh. I could also use numbers. We'll learn about numbers later. But instead of having 8 or 16 word colors, I can use the pound sign to mix shades of red, green, and blue. If I was to add a lot of red with FF, no green, no blue, with zero, zero. When I save my changes and refresh, I can make red. We'll be covering this in a different lesson. But th these are hexadecimal numbers. And for the time being, I will just use two digits, Fs or zeros, to mix red, green, and blue. Let's make that text green. No red, lots of green, no blue. Save my changes, and we have green text. No red, no green, lots of blue. White is made up of mixing all the other colors. No red, no green, no blue is the absence of color. 
or black. I'm going to add a line break after my word high, and I'm going to add an image. I have an image called prez.jpg saved in the same folder as my test web page. I'll just add extra space so you can see what I'm working on. Tag is img for image and then we need to specify the source. An attribute is always followed by an equal sign and two quotation marks. Don't forget we have a less than sign. We will need a greater than sign. The name of the image that I have saved again is prez.jpg prez.jpg Save my changes, switch to the browser and add a picture. The last thing you see in most web pages is a link. To create a link, you drop an anchor and then point to the hypertext reference. All attributes are followed by an equal sign and two quotation marks, and we don't want to forget the greater than sign. Some text will become the link, so I'll type in something simple. Click here. We have a beginning anchor tag. We are surrounding text, so I need to turn it on. And finally, we need a value to go between here, the full URL, such as HTTP colon slash slash www.templejc.edu. Save the changes, switch to the browser, and refresh. The whole point of creating an anchor is when we follow a link, we can hit the back button to pull on the anchor chain and return us to our original page. More on making web pages is in your book and details on colors, tags, and links to follow.